Right, so hi folks, and so welcome to this week's video. So we've taken um, half term here on October, we've headed up to the Lake District, so we're stopping in between Kendall and Crook at a little campsite called Pound Farm. It's an absolute cracking little place with some uh, great little holiday uh, lodges, some uh, camping pods, uh, we're here in the van. Right, all loaded up, a couple of rods with us, we're on the bank of uh, Windermere at the moment, somewhere I've never fished before, really looking forward to this. Um, so we've just got a bag full of bits and bobs for the day, boy's got the dog up there, he's going to fish with a fish rig 180, I'm going to have a go with a predator with a couple of large lures. Like I say, never fished it before so I don't really know what to expect and of course I don't know whether I'm fishing it right, but um, you know, let's give it a go and, uh, and see what we get up to. Still October and the bloody midges are still about. Not too impressed with that. Right, I'm gonna crack on, I'm gonna set up the fish rig 180 for little man. He's gonna have a go at that, so he's gonna have a go with, for some perch, just using some small little micro jigs underneath the trees here and probably in the trees, knowing him. And uh, we'll set up the predator and have a go with uh, some larger lures. Let's see whether we can pick anything up with that. jetty and uh, we'll see how we get on from there it's really shallow where we've been fishing but I think we've got a jetty here yeah we have Pudge. Right, we give up on the fishing actually, we won't catch him much down here at all. So we've met up with Andy, the creator of Rigged and Ready, shall we say. The man with the whole idea and created these fantastic rods and stuff uh, for us all that we've been using. And uh, we've give up fishing and we're actually in the woods here just having a go for some chanterelles. And we're not doing too bad at the moment to be honest. Yeah, so looking at the bottoms of these, you can see they're like uh, like spiky, almost like coral on the bottom. But yeah, these are a really, really good tasting mushroom. Right, just come back to the van just for something to eat and just to uh, put our little find for today inside because it's absolutely harsing it down moraine. So just going to head out, just do a little bit of fishing here. I've caught nothing yet today, neither has Ethan. So I really would love to catch a fish before we leave here. Absolutely beautiful part where we are. But just a shame about the weather. But anyway, let's get the wet weather gear on and see whether we can catch something. Right, we'll have a little go underneath these trees here. I don't think we'll get anything under air to be honest, but especially with this lure. But we'll have a go. one of the nice thing about having the van here. <laughs> Look at this, it's absolutely horse in it down now boy. Hardly see the other side of Windermere. Well, back to the van I think. So uh, let's just hope that Ethan has got me a couple on the go, which I very much doubt it. Right, morning folks. So we had a pretty wet night here yesterday. Shame about the fishing yesterday, but hey ho, that is what it is. But it was nice just to get out and get absolutely sodden wet. But anyway, today looks like a good day in the Lake District. Bit of cloud, bit of sunshine. We're heading down to Windermere. We're gonna take the ferry across Windermere, meet up with the boys there. <laughs>
right, so we are on west side of Windermere at a spot obviously I've never fished before. So we're heading up with Andy and Harry from Bang Average Travel Fishing and a guest appearance, I think. So we're going to set up with a Predator. I'm going to fish with the X5 Max with a dead bait. Little one's having a bash with a Smuggler 5, so we're going to do a bit of dead baiting with that and really try that rod out to its uh, to, to the full potential. Anyway, about five more minutes through the woods and uh, we'll be there. Anyway, so first one first, we're going to stick one of those bad boys, a little bit of a sardine onto the Smuggler 5. We're going to stick that one in close and then we'll stick the X5 Max out a little bit further, probably out by the boats over there. And then we'll have a bash with the, uh, the Predator with uh, one of the Strike Pro lures, see whether we can crack anything with that. <laughs> Watch a tree, watch a tree. Born Kendall, everybody went out with everybody else. I was, you know what? I looked at that before and I sort of just went. <laughs> Right, so how long have we had here? About an hour already? A bit more than an hour and nothing, so we've got six rods out at the moment. So there's four, five dead baits. Ethan's just having a bash with a little tiny shad. Nothing going on here at the moment, but it is an absolute glorious day. Right, that'll do for this spot. Absolutely nothing here. So we're gonna head a little bit further back down from where we uh, parked the motors and see what we get there. That's the first find for a while, I've never seen one of those. There we are, cauliflower mushroom. And he's spotted, and it doesn't look bad. too bad actually. But that's the first one I've ever seen. from Lakeland Lures and produce some fantastic soft lures and hard crankbaits and stuff. He's given me a couple of his new creations. So uh, we'll be using those when we get back home. Harry's there. Right, Harry's in finally. A fish. Not the biggest, biggest pike of the day. Oh, it's a jack. But it's a fish. <laughs> it's a jack, all right. But... Oh, he's not bad, eh? Oh, he's not bad at no, all. He's not bad at all, mate. If you can walk backwards a bit, because I'm just on the edge of my boots. There it goes. <laughs> You're getting wet, mate, regardless. Yeah. 
Get him in. He's in. He's in. Yes. Lovely old job. I had a mare there though. Yeah, had an absolute mare with that handling. It, the handling was shocking, you caught a fish. <laughs> Cheers everyone, back at the van already. We've got a pizza on the go in the oven there. Cheers for a good day. Play the lager please, Mary. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> Shame about that, no fish, but hey ho, it is what it is. But absolute cracking day out, really, really enjoyed it. It was a spot on day to be out there with the boys and uh, Harry caught a fish, which is uh, one of the main things. So we're just gonna have some food. We're gonna call it a night. We're gonna pack up from here about 11 tomorrow, I think, head down to Seathway, and then we're gonna head up to Styhead Tarn. Uh, but that is weather dependent, but we shall see tomorrow. Anyway, catch you in the morning. So this is forecast for today. And it, then it's forecast for a yellow weather warning for rain for tomorrow and the day after. And it is specifically just in this area, uh, in the lake district here, obviously, why there's lakes. But down south, it's quite nice. So unfortunately, we're gonna knock it on the head and head back down south and find something to do down south where the weather's a little bit better than this. As much as I'd love to take him up to Styhead Tarn and go in the Bothy, he's not gonna enjoy it when the weather's like this. Uh, and plus it's an hour and a half that way as well to get to Seathwaite and uh, it's five hours back home down there so I think what we'll do we'll just take the dog out for a walk and we'll pack up and um, we'll start making our way back down south hello puppy come on <laughs> 